Do you want to turn your kick streams into vertical style content so that way you can easily upload to TikTok or YouTube shorts? I'll be showing you two different methods so that way if you don't like one method, you can easily use the other. If that sounds good, then drop a like on this video so others can easily find this video. And then let's get in there like swimwear. For the first method, we'll be using a website called sizzle.gg, who was nice enough to sponsor today's video and they're going to be doing a $25 giveaway at the end of this little segment, so pay attention. Sizzle.gg is a website that automatically generates awesome highlights of your Twitch, YouTube streams, and your local gameplay videos, which we'll be taking advantage of in today's video in order to make clips of our kick streams. And there's no annoying software you gotta download either, which is real cool. But sizzle.gg will automatically pick the best parts of your gameplay videos and streams, turning them into clips and compilations for all the most popular games for free and any game and video, including just chatting using its new universal AI technology, which means that you can literally upload your streams, whether that be from a raw file or from from your Twitch or YouTube past broadcasts, and it will automatically find those clippable moments, saving you hours and hours of time, which I think is probably one of the most useful features of this tool. On sizzle.gg, you can link your streaming account, auto-generate your highlights, edit and download them, create custom compilations, and even convert any video into portrait mode for TikTok and YouTube shorts. The basic plan is completely free, and just for 99 cents for the first month, you can get awesome perks such as being featured on the homepage, visited daily by a huge community, and the ability of generating highlights out of any video with Universal AI. Now this means that you can use the free version to make horizontal clips of your kick streams for free, but if you want to have it automatically make the vertical style format, you're gonna have to upgrade for that 99 cents for the first month. However, if you ain't got a dollar lying around, you can use method two, which I'll be showing you after this method. Now the cool part is that sizzle.gg is hosting a free to enter giveaway where two winners who create a free sizzle.gg account will win $25 through PayPal, so you can buy your skins, battle passes for any game. All you gotta do is head in the description down below below and make a free sizzle.gg account, connect your Twitch or YouTube account to sizzle, and then you're locked in and ready to go. So make sure to sign up for a free sizzle.gg account to be eligible for the giveaway, as well as making free compilations and highlights from your streams. Now, in order to use the first method, you obviously have to have your hands on the raw file of your kick stream. And as of recording this video right now, if you go to your kick page and then click on videos and you see your recent broadcast, you can watch them, but you actually can't download them like you can with your kick clips. So that means we have a couple options. The first option is that we can locally record in Streamlabs or OBS while you're streaming if you have a good enough computer, so that way you just have the raw files offhand. But I know a lot of you guys don't do that, including myself, which means that we're going to have to find a way to download our kick streams so we can get that raw file so we can use it with the first method using Sizzle or the second method, which I'll show you in just a minute. So assuming you want to download your kick stream, well, let me show you how to do it. We're going to use KickBot in order to download our kick stream so we can get access to the raw file file, so I'll leave this linked in the description below. But we're going to click on the dashboard option, and then we're going to click on link new account. Then we're going to copy this right here, so we can right click copy, and then click on this link right here. We're going to click on the chat option, and then paste in that message that we had just copied previously, and then hit chat. And that's going to verify our kick account with the KickBot app. Then we can also copy this as well, just KickBot, and then click on the here button. It'll bring us to our moderators page, where we can simply hit add new, and then we can paste in KickBot or type it out and click the one with the green icon and hit add. So that way everything is linked up and moderated for the Kick app to work. Once you've done all the steps, hit verify. And now you should be brought to the dashboard, but we can look on the left hand side and click on the VOD downloader. Then from here, we need to go to one of our Kick VODs. So I'll just click on my most recent one and we're going to copy this URL of this video. So we'll just go up here and we're gonna copy this link. We're gonna paste it in the URL section. You can see that it's brought up the preview. Now we can choose what we want to download it as. I'm gonna choose the highest resolution and then we can simply hit download. Now it says it's added to the queue. So we're gonna to have to wait until this downloads and then you'll get the raw file, which we can then use for our two options. It says it'll take about 30 minutes for the free account. So go grab a beer, go do a workout. I don't know what you guys do, but come back, get the download when you're ready. All right, so after mindlessly scrolling Instagram reels for God knows how long, we can now download our kick stream. So now you can see it expired in seven days, so make sure to download it. So we're gonna click on the download button and now it's going to start the download of our raw file, which then we can use with either sizzle or option two. And depending on how long your stream is, it might take a while because uh, as you can see here, it's gonna take about 10 minutes because it's almost six gigabytes long. So you might have to go and scroll Instagram reels for a little bit longer. And while you're over there, make sure to follow me on Instagram at CPause Music. So if you wanted to use method one, you'd simply log into sizzle like you can see we are on the dashboard right here. And then you would click this little up arrow 
arrow that says upload file to get clips. You would upload your stream and then it would automatically scan your stream for clippable moments. And then you would just follow the instructions on everything that you need to do in order to customize it the way that you would want it to be. But let's say that you didn't want to use Sizzle. Well, that's where option two comes into play. And in order to use option two, we're going to have to go to a different website called CapCut. I'll also leave this linked in the description down below in case you guys want to use it. But this is going to be our free all in one video editor, which will allow us to edit that video into a vertical format for free. Now this option is free. However, it does require a little bit more work in terms of more steps and actually knowing how to do some video editing, but I'll keep everything as simple as possible because I don't want to confuse you guys and I don't like editing shorts to be quite honest with you. So I'm going to keep everything dumbed down as straight to the point as possible. Now we're brought to a crossroads, which basically gives us two different options. We can either download for Windows, which is my preferred option, or you can edit the video online. Now the downside to editing the video online through their browser option is that you're limited to, I think, four or five gigabytes for the video file. And majority of your kick streams are going to be longer than like two hours. So chances are it's going to be too large to edit in there. So if you're on Mac, unfortunately, you're going to have an extra step here where you're going to have to find a video editing software that you can use to trim your kick VOD to under four or five gigabytes. So that way you can edit online through their editing suite here. But if you're a Windows user like me, it's going to save you one extra step because then you can download their cap cut software for Windows where they don't have a limit. Now, I apologize for all the Mac users, but unfortunately I didn't make the damn thing. So this is what we have to use. So since I'm a Windows user, I'm going to download for Windows and I'm going to run the installation and I'll see you on the homepage of it. So once you open up CapCut for the first time, it should look something like this. If you're on Mac, you'll be using the online editing suite once you have your file smaller than about four to five gigabytes. It should look relatively similar. So if you need help, I'm sure they have more videos on YouTube, but you should be able to figure out most of the stuff here through this video. So once we have this open, we're going to click on new project, and this is going to bring us to the actual editing software. Now it should look pretty similar to the online version. Now I think things are going to be labeled on the left hand side and not on the top, but it should be pretty similar. So the first thing we want to do is click on import, and this is going to allow us to find that video file that we downloaded. So in this case, this massive like 5.6 gigabyte file. So I'm going to double click on that. It's going to bring it into our media selection. And all we're going to do is simply drag it down into our timeline. And so now we have one instance of our video. So now I'm just going to click right about here to scan where I think there's going to be a clippable moment that we want to turn into a YouTube short. Let's just say it was right about here. Once I'm over here, I'm going to hit control B and that's going to split my clip. You can also, I believe it's one of these options here. I think it's split. Yeah. So you'll click split and that'll do the same exact thing. Let's just say that I scan through my video and this is where I want to have my clip. Well, now I'm just going to click here on the other clip we don't want. I'm going to hit the delete key. It's going to delete it. And then now let's just say I'm going to grab the right hand side of this clip. Then I'm also going to drag this little meter here on the right, which is obviously kind of hidden behind my webcam. So I'll hide that. This little bar here will allow me to zoom in on the timeline, making it a lot easier to make these adjustments. Let's just say that this is the clip that I want to make. There's really nothing interesting happening, but for the purposes of this video, we'll keep it easy. So now I'm going to do delete right, which is this one right here. So it's going to delete everything to the right of this clip. And now we have our little clip. But now you're like, Cody, this isn't vertical. How the heck am I supposed to turn this into a YouTube short? I got you, fam. Once we're here, we're going to click on this little ratio button. So click on that. And now we're going to change it to nine by 16. And so now that's going to turn it into the vertical style format. But now it looks like doo doo. In order to fix that, we're going to click on this clip. And now we're going to scale it right about to here, which is about 320 ish. So now you'll be able to click and drag to wherever you want to have it. Usually you want to have it in the middle because that's where most of the action is going to be happening. If you don't want to have your webcam, well, then you're pretty much done because then you just have your gameplay there. Let's say you do want to have your webcam. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this clip. We're just going to copy it by clicking on it. And then you can either right click and then copy and then right click over here and paste it. So now we have two instances of this clip. So we just want to make sure the one with the webcam is going to be on top. So what we'll do now is click on the one on the top and then we're going to drag this over here to where we see my webcam. And then we're going to right click on the top video file and then we're going to click on edit and then crop ratio. So that way it's going to allow us to crop just my webcam and we'll be able to put it over 
the actual gameplay. So I'm gonna put right about here, which is my head, and then we're gonna hit confirm. And now I know this looks like trash and it looks super blurry, but for whatever reason, when you actually go to export the final video, it won't be as trashy as this. So we can put this wherever we want. So in this case, maybe I'll put it here, but then I'm gonna want to drag this like video down more so we can actually see the frog. So in that case, what we'd wanna do I'm gonna make this larger, and you just kinda get it to wherever you think is gonna be best. I'm also gonna change this a little bit smaller, maybe put that up there. So now when we're ready to preview our clip, all we have to do is drag this all the way to the left, and then you're gonna hit the play button, and then you'll be able to watch your clip, and you can make adjustments through there. But we have the basic YouTube short style format, where you have your webcam on top and your gameplay on bottom. And the cool part about using CapCut is that if you actually go to the text option right at the top left there, and then you click on auto captions, then you can hit generate, and it's gonna automatically make subtitles for your short. And then you can click on this little subtitles right here. So you can click there and just make sure you wanna highlight all of them. And then you can click basic, and then you can change the font to whatever you want. They have some free ones, they have some non-free ones. So let's just pick this one. and then you can go and change the style of the font to whatever you want. You can change the color. Basically just find something that's gonna pop. So obviously not that one. Just find whatever you think is gonna look the best. You're usually going to want something with a background or a stroke. So just something like that. This is a pretty bad example, but just to keep things fast, that's what we're gonna go with. Now, if we play the video, you'll see that we have automatic captions in there. And you can obviously make this look a lot nicer, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanna keep it super fast for you guys. But we have our webcam, our gameplay, and then we have our auto captions. Everything's looking good. You can also edit them if you need by dragging these left and right to time them up. Most of the time it should be fine, but you can just double click on that. But this is a pretty basic YouTube short and TikTok from our Kickstream. So once you're ready to go and actually export it, we're gonna click the export button in the top right corner. And then now you can make your title here. You can choose where it's gonna export port to so whatever folder it's going to land in you can change the resolution and all the other stuff the only thing you really got to pay attention to is the frame rate so if your kickstream was recorded at 30 frames per second then you want to choose 30 and if it was in 60 then you can change it to 60. so if for whatever reason you watch back this new clip that you made after you export it and it's like super fast or super slow then chances are your frame rate was not correct so feel free to mess around with those settings and make sure that you have it to whatever you streamed at and then once you're ready to do that you can simply hit export and now it'll show you what the actual clip looks like. So as you can see now, the quality is a lot higher on the webcam versus what it looked like in the preview. So just in case you guys are worried, now we have our webcam, we got our gameplay, and we got our auto captions all from our Kickstream. So now you can literally take this file that you just downloaded, upload it to TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, wherever your heck your little heart desires. But keep watching my videos to the side of me to level up your stream. My name's Cody, and I will see you in the next one.